Previously, I had worked out Black Scholes, the value of a Black Scholes call in VBA and in Excel. Um, if we go directly to the file on the OneDrive, uh, we can see the implementation. It's um, uh, the VBA uh, function doesn't get uh, f implemented if while the uh, Excel file is hosted on the OneDrive, but you can download directly and then just open up the file and enable macros and just have a, a view. And we can see the basic Black Scholes formula, the implementation. Then if we increase the size here a little bit, we can see for the usual Black Scholes parameter inputs, uh, we had a value of 399, 339 and 16. And uh, subsequently, I stress tested that. So we have values here for S, K, T, R, Q, Sigma, and we can see that the VBA, get the VBA, Visual Basic Editor, we can see the, um, the code. What I'd like to do now is implement the same calculation again but using C++ in um, on the Apple or the Macintosh system um, the um, obvious one of the more obvious compilers for C++ is to use Xcode uh, so we'll try that just um, before we do might take note of the parameter inputs and then the values of the call and the pot. So uh, to implement Xcode, we are looking for this particular, this uh, icon might be familiar, but if we want to set up, uh, if we want to implement um, Black Scholes in C++, uh, we could create a new Xcode project and uh, typically we would select uh, command line and OS X so the operating system and next and uh, Xcode is demanding a product name so we'll call it black black shoulds 1973 go to next and uh, <clears throat> we want to create a new file so we'll say new folder and black shoulds nineteen seventy three and create and create and uh just to redimension. Uh, we want to enter some code, so we go to main CPP, and uh, this is just effectively uh, the simplest program. It's kind of the default uh, set of code that's uh, set out on the compiler, um, on the editor. Um, it doesn't do anything other than um, if we run it can check and you can see hello world comes out now we want to change that uh, to follow in line with black shoals so we want to amend the code that's here and I have a word document where the code is already set up so we could just copy and paste in um, this particular code that we have here and the value should be consistent with the values we observed before for Black Shoals. Um, where did I get the code from? I got the code from Volupta. So my code to Volupta. And 
we go to the C++ tab and if you notice here there's some code for Black Shoals uh, price and Greeks. Now C++ question might arise why would we use C++? C++ generally is faster in implementation so it's a more primitive language but it's also uh, by definition a language that's closer to the binary code of ones and zeros so uh, implementation of calculations tends to be much quicker um, for black shoals type calculation it's hardly worth a while however for more um, uh, series type implementation in terms of uh, binomial lattice trees Monte Carlo uh, C++ is probably as, uh, the best uh, language for implementation. Um, so this is the C++ code. We don't need all because it incorporates in a host of different Greeks, which we will look at a later stage. We just are interested in implementing the Black Shoals uh, function. So uh, I amended that before and uh, I uh, boiled it down or distilled it into this uh, simpler code. Uh, maybe I'll just ch take these comments as well in green. I'll copy. And I'll go back into Xcode. I will delete the code that's there. I will paste and um, so we have main C++ Black Scholes 1973 and yes created 1058 that's fine and originally adopted from Fabrice Roura that's the Volupta uh, website um, and we can take this out so I made some changes on the original code but not much now something that's missing here that I need um, is I need to incorporate in because there is some reference to mathematical functions that we'll see below you can see that there's an issue with uh, the declaration and pi and so on and it may be because the functions are not uh, recognized so we'll just include incorporate include and uh, greater less than uh, quotes math dot h and finish off the quotes return and you notice that the uh, where the problems arose uh, that were signaled that's gone um, okay so what we also system pause is for Microsoft so we can delete that out it's not used generally in Xcode and can we run from we can run it from here so let's take that and execute the code maybe bring this down just slightly so everything comes into our purview and let's run that and you can see we have here a value so it's telling us C out Black Scholes price and then call up the function or K S K T R the volatility and the option type type were declared here as parameter inputs and where was this BS price uh, derived from well the function was set up here and if you recall D1 and D2 that we had before uh, D1 here is same as before natural logarithm s divided by k uh, you're squaring the volatility you're dividing by 2 we don't have uh, 
a dividend yield here that's unlike what we had before so it's just defaulting to zero zero uh, the value of the put if it's not a call then it, it's something else so in this instance it's binary either a call or a put but what's the what is the alternative here it's um, using put call parity we're getting the value of the put uh, otherwise if we compare to uh, Excel uh, if we go back to our Excel so bring up Excel um, in Excel when we called up uh, uh, when we worked out the value of the call we view the code bringing up the code we were able to call up norms this which is a built-in function in Excel so VBA if there's an existing normal cumulative probability function available in Excel VBA is able to call that function using application and then the name of the Excel function however in uh, C++ in Xcode we don't have that function readily available so to implement or to work out the normal cumulative probability we uh, use this Boole's rule um, and uh, so we generate uh, a normal cumulative probability that, but it's a function that's generated uh, within the compiler as opposed to calling up a pre-written shovel ready function so otherwise uh, structures similar to um, uh, VBA again N here D denotes D1 and N D minus Sigma square root of T that's D1 minus Sigma square root of T is D2 okay and the values here that we have for S K T R, V, these are values that we've already, already had in Excel and we're getting the same value for the, the in the output we're getting the same value for uh, the Black Shoals call. So the Black Shoals price for this call, C, is 1045. Comparing then with uh, Excel, we have a value, so we go back to the spreadsheet. For the same parameter inputs where the dividend yield is zero we're getting a value of 1045 also.